Hello everyone, this is Linda. Welcome to Lenny P's Place. Hope you're all doing well today. I um, <clears throat> decided to start a new project and I thought I would do kind of a craft with me. Um, at least parts of it will be. I'm going to alter a cigar box. I just, I don't know, I was in the mood to alter something and so I went out in the garage to look around and see what I could find that I could alter. And I found a cigar box, which is one of my favorite things to alter. Um, and so then I thought, well, I need to look around for some paper. And I was going to use some digitals. But then I came across this uh, container that had some scrapbook paper in it. So as you can see, I've already painted my box. I used, because uh, I figured you didn't need to see me do that, I used uh, this chalky gesso and I painted the entire thing. But you can see I didn't paint where I'm going to put paper. I left some of that. Uh, and after I did the gesso, then I used this Deco Art um, Americana acrylic paint in light buttermilk. Um, I used to have just uh, the buttermilk, which, which was a little uh, darker, a little bit more with a little bit more of a yellowish tint. That's what I really wished I would have had, but I didn't have that. So I used this and I'm okay with that. It worked out all right. Um, so anyway, I just painted the whole box. And then because this has this little lip inside because I really prefer to use um, a cigar box that just closes and doesn't have this little thing in it but I didn't want to pull this out which I could have done but by pulling it out it sometimes warps the box um, so I didn't want to do that but a lot of times when you paint or you add paper um, it will stick. So what I did was I used some soap. Now I just used this because this is what I had from the Dollar Tree. And you just go around all the edges, everything that's going to, all these edges that are going to touch each other because the paint will stick together. Now, is it a perfect solution? No, because just the paint itself, um, I don't know, it causes the box to swell just a little bit, I think. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me, if I have to, I can always sand a little on the sides, but there won't be any paper in this part here or on this ledge here because of that. So, um, Anyway, I, the box is ready to be covered with paper. So now I'll show you what I've done. Um, and if you want to do a box with me, um, you'll have time to catch up because I'm slow. <laughs> I don't work very fast. Um, so when I was outside looking for a box, I also ran across this um, container with some scrapbook paper in it. And I had this Prima Romance novel paper that I've never used. I know you're getting a little bit of a glare. Um, so I thought I would use it. So I picked a few pages to use. Um, I'll just show you what I'm using because I've already cut my papers down to size. So um, <clears throat> this will be the outside. No, this is the end. No, this is my scraps left over. <laughs> That's my scraps. Um, I'm planning on putting a little journal in here. Not a big one, just a small one. And then there'll be something else that I make to go in here. And um, this is the outside. This will be the outside and along the edges. And then this will be the inside because I've already measured and cut all my papers to size. 
and then I'm putting uh, felt on the bottom and felt on the outside bottom. So the inside bottom is going to get felt and the outside bottom will get felt. So those will come later. So <clears throat> anyway, I chose this paper because I had an entire, I, not a whole collection, but a good bit. So I can even make <clears throat> a little journal out of it. And it's, it's really pretty paper. Uh, some of the ones I don't care for, but there's a lot of, um, a lot of ones that I do like. So I have that. And then I have two of these little six by six pads. I don't know how. I ended up with two of them, but I have two of them. So <clears throat> between this, this one and this one, I should be able to get enough pages that I do like to use. And then, um, let's see, what else do I have here? I also have the romance novel journaling cards. So I have all those. Because I've never used any of this. I <laughs> guess I forgot about having it. Um, and then I probably won't use these at all. But I have these um, buttons and little wooden embellishments, mostly clocks and tickets. But then I also have, which I thought went well, some things from the debutante collection of, from Prima. I have the, just this little 6x6 six six pad, but it's really pretty. And I think the um, colors really work well with this. So, and I have a lot of embellishments of that. I have all these, these pretty um, feathers. So, you know, I might use some of these embellishments when I get ready to decorate my box. I'm not sure. I think I had something else in here, too. Oh, yeah, probably won't use these. I'm not a real big fan of um, the wooden pieces. Oh, I'm sorry for the glare. Um, okay, so anyway, these I think I might use. I also have these little tags. So that's um, what I'm thinking of using. But for the box itself, we're just going to start with papers. So if you want to join in, um, I'd love to have you craft with me. So um, anyway, I'll show you how I did my papers. So in case you want to do yours, something like this, you could. Now, <clears throat> I had one piece of 12 by 12 paper in here that I guess I must have decided went well with it, which it does. So I'm going to use it on the top of my book. I mean, my uh, on the top of my box. Now this, as you can see, I cut the center out of it because there's no sense in wasting the paper because this is going down on top of it like that. And, of course, there will be lace and, and embellishments on the top, which will cover up a lot of it. But, um, for now, I'm just going to get the papers down. I haven't even thought about laces yet. I usually do my stuff. I pick things out in um, stages, like paper comes first, so that's what I picked. Um, I'll go back and find laces and stuff, flowers and things, uh, when the box is all covered with the paper. That'll be step one. And then I'll be, well, actually, step one was painting. Step two is putting down the paper. So, and what I like to use, and I'm almost out of it, is, um, it's, it's a Lee, it's by a Lee, but it's uh, Tracy... I don't exactly know how to say her name, Bautista, and it's called Collage Podge, and I like this a lot. Well, I'll leave it here for a second so you can look at it. So I don't have very much. I don't know if I'm going to have enough to do this whole thing. If I get it open. And I'm, I think I'm just going to 
put a little bit around that because I don't have very much of it. If I can just get the top done, that should be enough to spread around, I think. I might have to go back and look for something else to use for the um, for the inside and the sides. So what have you guys been up to, guys, ladies? Um, tell you the truth, I don't think I have any men that watch my channel, but just in case I do, I don't want to leave them out. But uh, anyway, um, what have I been up to? Not much. Um, just... I did some housework, had my granddaughter for, uh, she came, my son and daughter-in-law brought her over Saturday night and she spent the night, but she kind of wasn't feeling very well, um, but she didn't, you know, she wasn't sick or anything, she just had a little runny nose, so I said yes, let her come, because we hadn't seen her, and I wanted to see her, I hadn't seen her in over a week, because... Now that she's going to school, she doesn't get to come. So, yeah, so, so her mom and dad brought her, and she spent the night. And we did not have, we had a great day Sunday, I mean Saturday. But when it came time to go to bed, she got a little congested when she laid down. So, she couldn't sleep well. She wanted to sleep with me and her papa. So we told her, okay. So she got into bed with us, and, uh, yeah, that didn't go too well. Then she wanted to go back to her bed. So we said, okay, you can go back to your bed. So she went back to her bed. She didn't stay long, and then she came back. And then she wanted to get back in the bed with us, so she did. So that's, this went on for about, I don't know, 30 minutes, I guess. So then... Her papa said, well, I'm just going to go and sleep in your bed, and you sleep in here with your gram. Well, she said, no, I want to go sleep in, in my bed with you. So, she and my husband went back to her room, and she went to sleep. So, she came and woke me up at 7.30. But she still wasn't feeling too good. Get that down right there. She still wasn't feeling real good, so anyway, we took her. She we had promised her we'd take her to breakfast. So she still wanted to go to breakfast. So she didn't have any fever, so we figured it was okay. So we took her to breakfast. And then we took her home. And I called last night. No, Sunday night. Yeah, we took her home Sunday. Yesterday was Sunday, so I called last night, and she was feeling much, much better, so I guess she's okay. Now I'll have to go back and put a little more glue on the edges, but I don't want to put too much and have it coming out. So anyway, that was my weekend. I spent it with my granddaughter, and so we probably won't see her again for a week or so. And I have to go back and put a little more. I get it to come out. It's just about gone. A gnat flying around in here. He's on my paper. See him? Get away. I 
should have got him out first because I knew he was in here because he was bothering me when I was cutting, cutting, whoops, when I was cutting my paper, he was bothering me. I know watching me craft is, I don't, I'm not fast. Not fast at all. I need to put this in here because I can't get it to come out. Turn it upside down. I'll see if I can get some more out of it before I get rid of it. I have the other one that's the uh, glossy. I don't guess it would make any difference if I use that one for this. What kind of things do you like to alter, or do you like to alter anything? Um, I love to alter jewelry boxes. Haven't done that in a while either. That I used to do a lot more altering of things than actually journaling. I didn't. I didn't do junk journals. I did more um, lace books and altering different kinds of boxes and just whatever I could find to alter. Maybe I do um, picture frames, just shelves, whatever, whatever I could find that I thought would, would look nice that I could alter and use. I had a lot of this stuff displayed in my craft room before we moved here and bought this house where I only have a tiny craft room. I had a much bigger one before. And I had a lot of things um, displayed, but now there's not enough room in here for a lot of things, so I never know what I'm going to have space for. Let's see, I think that's down pretty good now. I meant to set my echo, have my echo, uh, put a timer on. I think I better do that. I'm going to put a timer on for about 20 minutes, and at the end of that time, then um, you'll have an idea of how to do this, and I'll just finish it up off camera. Um, Alexa, set a timer for 20 minutes. Okay, that's the top is done. Now we'll do these little sides here. Let's see, or I'll do them. Um, see how it sticks a little? Not a lot, but a little more than I'd like for it to. So this will go. Oh, um, it's hard for me to show you. Go on like that. So I think this time maybe I will put the glue. On here, that might work better. I have a piece of paper down here so that I can just glue and stamp on it. I'm not sure you can see me doing this. Maybe you can. I mean, you know what? You know how to, you know how to glue paper on something anyway, so it doesn't matter if you don't see me do it. You can see it after I've, I've done it. So there's that piece. Now, um, let's just go on and do one of these. What I'll do is I'll do this one. And then I'll move to the inside so you can see how I'm going to do that. And then that way, I'll just have this all finished up when I come back on for part two. So there's
there's different ways, you know, to measure your um, paper. You can measure by laying it down on your on your whatever it is you're you're cutting, or you can um, use your ruler to measure. I do both. I do some with my ruler and some with my uh, just laying it down. Like on the bottom, I just laid it down on the bottom and, and drew, took a pencil and drew around it. Okay, so that's how that looks. And that's the top. And if you have a few, if you have any that's like hanging over, which I don't really have any on this one, but a little bit right here, you can take a um, piece of sandpaper and just do this, and that just cleans it right off. It makes it level. And then if you want, which I probably will when I'm done, um, do put some ink around the edges, perhaps, if I feel they need it. So anyway, that's how you clean up your edge if you... Um, if it, you know, your paper's not exactly flush where it needs to be, you can clean it up like that. The rest of it seems pretty good. So that's how it'll look. So now let's just go inside and let me put these back together so I don't mistake them for something else. Okay, now for this... This is just going to go right in here like this. So I'm going to just put the, I'm going to move that out of the way, and I'm going to put the glue on my paper. I think it works better that way. It's easier to um, do it because that this is rough. This um, wood is rough, and it makes it a little bit hard to, even though it's painted. It's still rough, and it makes it hard to um, spread the glue. This works much better. Much better. I should have did that to start with, but I didn't think about it. Um, I'm so out of practice with my crafting until I just don't always remember how I used to do things. Okay, so this I'm just going to line it up. I might have a little trouble getting this to stick because I use that soap. And I don't know how well this can stick to that soap because it's, you know, the residue from it kind of gets everywhere. If I have to, I might have to come back along the edges and use a little hot glue, but maybe I won't. Feels pretty good. Is all that's going to be done to that. I can't put lace on the sides of this because of this part, which is why I do not like to use these kind of boxes. But this was the box that I found out there. I know I have some more, but I didn't like the size of them. So I wanted one that was kind of deep. So it, this was only one I had. So I'm working with it. And then um, I've already got my papers cut for the inside. They'll go in just like that. So let me get these tied. Have I got any glue left in here? No. Okay. I think I'll get that other one and try it. See how it works. Whoops. Glad there wasn't nothing in there. I'm just going to work 
work on until my um, timer goes off and then I'll whatever's not finished I'll finish off camera. Now I can't put my, I, can't, I could, but I don't like to put my felt in until after I have um, got these things in. Let's see. If you have a box that's pretty even, it's really quick to cut your papers because you know once you get a measurement for one side, like this side, this side's going to be the same. That all the sides, all the sides along the, the outside are going to be the same. So it doesn't take long to cut the paper. I think it took me about. Uh, maybe 30 minutes, but that also included picking out which papers I was going to use to cover my box. So, yeah, this page I didn't care, the end of this paper I didn't care much for, so I'm putting it here because it won't show very much. Um, I was trying to keep with the soft pinks and the little bit of blue, but this paper line has some bright colors in it that I just did not want to use. And so, um, I think somewhere I have uh, the Romantique, which if I do, I'm going to make another box and I'm going to alter another box and use that. I couldn't find it, but I think I have it somewhere. This one is um, a little too high, so I'm going to have to file it down. So once this dries, I don't know how I'm, I, I don't know how I managed to do that, but this one's a little bit high. Just a little. Use this in this. Sometimes you need something in the corners to make sure they're they're down good. you can see what I'm doing. Um, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory, I guess. I've got blue all over my paper here. I should have got me a, a little book to use. Got more glue than I need at that time. Here's where your bone folder would come in handy. I just, using the end of my paintbrush, that's a little high too. Yeah, I'll have to come back and sand those off. They're a little bit too high. The one in the back is good, but these I can feel a little bit of a uh, hangover. Let it dry first. And I'll fix it. So 
Okay, we got this one. Stay on. Put a smudge glue this time. I get kind of quiet when I'm crafting and then I talk to myself. So, a lot of this I'm, I'm really just talking to myself. Um, that's just the way I do. So, I talk to myself all the time anyway. <laughs> My husband's a Always saying, what'd you say? And I said, oh, I'm just talking to myself. Well, I wish you wouldn't do that. I think you're talking to me. Well, I do it. Now, that's not exactly completely straight, but I'm not going to worry about that because I don't think it's going to, nobody's going to really notice anyway because, I mean, it is handmade. And, and I think I might, well, if it turns out good enough, because if it's not real good, then I wouldn't do it. But... Um, I don't sell much, but I might sell this um, when I'm done. If I think it's good enough to sell, I might not think it is. Most of my stuff, I'm, I'm pretty critical of what I do and don't really think it's good enough. I think maybe it's good enough to give away, but not good enough to, to take money for. So we'll see if anyone might be interested in this little set that I'm making. I really just just wanted to do something. So I think before the bottom's gonna go in, but I think I'm gonna use some fabric tack on that because this is felt. So I think I'll use fabric tack for that. And uh, let me get it. Here it is. <sighs> fabric tack doesn't smooth out as well for me. I don't think I think I need a big glob and then I don't know if I can do that. Yeah, I did. I think I just need to get a bubble there. Get that bubble out of there. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Let's see. Maybe it will. No, I don't think so. Tell you this, this wood is uh it is hard to, for me anyway, um, now you can sand your box, and I've done that before, but to me, honestly, when you're done, you can't even tell, so I stopped wasting my time doing that. Boy, that took a lot of glue. <sighs> Stringy. Messy. I had to get up here so I can see what I'm doing. I hope I don't have my head in your in your way. I don't think I do because my camera is now set up different. I got a ring light and my I do film with my uh, my webcam and the ring light. Um, it's inside the ring light, so it's it makes it a little bit easier for me to keep my head out of the way because um, my head hits the ring light before. <laughs> It gets in the camera, I think. I hope. We'll see. All right. I think that's enough. Glue. Let me see if I can get it down on so you're straight now before. This is some felted wool that I, I've had for a long time. But I did order it, and I don't uh, remember where it came from. Bendy? Is it Bendy? It's a, it's a company. Um, it starts with a B, I think. And I don't think I got, I don't think it was on Etsy. I think I ordered it from just a company. But it seems to me like the name of it was Bendy. Or something similar to that. Because I remember thinking it kind of sounded like a cartoon character <laughs> or 
something. Get that scooted up a little. I still can. Oh, that's all it's going to do. There's a tiny little crack, but see, around this now I'll put a little bit of lace all around the edge here. Because I can't, couldn't put it, um, the glue on there. So, all that noise and reaching. I need to get one of these wipes. Get that glue off before it dries on there. Pretty much has the inside done. Now, uh, let's see. This is, whoops. And you can just use a plain old piece of uh, sandpaper. This is a distressing thing that came in something that I bought at the thrift store. I found this is the easiest way to do it because if you do it any other way, you're going to rip your paper or it's gonna not going to be straight. And this pretty much few minutes to do it, but when you're done, it doesn't look bad, and, and it's done. I should have did that before I put my belt down. Okay, so that feels okay, I think, and uh, I will probably take my distress ink and go around the edges of this just a little bit. Um, and, uh, whoops. I missed up. I don't think it's dry all the way yet. I should leave it alone. Alexa, stop. Okay, that's the 20 minute bell, so I know I've been on here at least 30 or maybe a little longer than that. So, here's, I got my done, and uh, I'll finish up my sanding. Might have been all I needed to do. And then I will, um, I'll finish my outside. And then when I come back, we will, or I will um, show you what I picked out for my embellishments, and we'll, I'll start on that. I don't know why I always say we, but, <laughs> but then again, I guess if you're crafting along, you'll be doing yours too, so anyway, um, if you want to, if you want to make one, gather up your supplies, and uh, yeah, get started. The fun part's coming up next. When, uh, when we do the embellishing, I mean, I think it looks pretty like it is, but I'm going to put some lace and uh, some flowers on here, maybe just in this little corner right here. I might leave the rest of this. Okay, I'll think about that. So, okay, well, thanks a lot for stopping by and keeping me company and watching me um, work on my box. It's possible that it was more like watching paint dry, which I did save you that part by doing it ahead of time. So anyway, um, thanks again. I hope everyone will uh, stay safe, be well, and I will talk to you later. Bye for now.